chapter in this video I want to show you how you can replace a teacher that's leaving your school with a new teacher to do that I'm gonna to go to an existing account and uh, I'm gonna to go to the users database so they're gonna to have to be someone that has user database access preferably a, a curriculum admin and so in this case I would like to replace Mike Vanderberg he's leaving the school and the new teacher that we hired to replace him is Jason Williams so you could delete out Mike Vanderberg and go to add user and add in Jason Williams however if you do that you're gonna need to go into the courses database and reattach Jason to all the courses that he's gonna teach uh, plus if you have lesson plan content and content and units that was unique to uh, Mike Vanderberg you'll lose some of that information or it becomes very difficult to get it back so instead what we recommend is rather than deleting out Mike Vanderberg and adding a new user let's just edit Mike Vanderberg and replace all of his information with Jason's information so it's gonna be Jason Williams um, let's replace his email address uh, with Jason's uh, as far as the ID it depends if this ID was just a, a, a random ID that you're only using in curriculum track if so you could probably leave it um, the same as was as it was as long as it's unique to all the other curriculum track users however if this is a teacher ID or an ID that's used somewhere else within uh, the school uh, you'll want to replace that with the new teachers ID you could probably leave all the permissions the way they were and then when you get to the bottom let's go ahead and click Save so really just first name last name email and probably the ID um, will leave the permissions the way it was and click Save the other thing that we'll have to do is click edit usernames and passwords because we're going to want to change his username and password as well so we're going to put in um, his username is J Williams and then we'll put in a password has to be at least four characters long and have at least a ca one capital letter and we'll go ahead and click Save so those changes has been have been made so now if I log out as um, Dan Behrens and instead let's log in as Jay Williams and so we can see once what happened so now when he logs in notice that he has the courses attached to him that Mike Vandenberg had attached to him and uh, if you click on the maps of any of these all the content that was already established in the map comes over so they can inherit the map from the previous teacher incidentally if I click on edit um, the district defined field contents all gonna pull over but also notice this school has individual teacher fields and just a reminder if you have five teachers in the school that teach this class all five teachers are gonna have the same content in these district fields but individual teachers teachers can put in their own content so notice that Jason Williams is going to inherit Mike Vanderberg's activities and strategies and resources so he's probably going to want to go in and change this over time uh, but it might be nice for him to see once what uh, what different strategies Mike Vanderberg used so Jason will replace over time with his text and so forth um, so obviously he wouldn't type that in he'd actually put his content in but uh, so that's really um, the benefit of it also um, if I log out one more time and let's log in as Dan Behrens once again um, there is a report that we can go to called the user permissions report and in here I'll just go to the top and do a search real quick for Jason uh, Williams looks like there's a couple of Williams here notice that it has all the information that Mike Vandenberg had previously so that's a real handy way to make sure that you don't lose any content incidentally if this if your school is using the lesson planner and if Mike Vandenberg had a full database of lessons created 
uh, Jason Williams could benefit from those as well. And again, we don't want to suggest that that teacher is going to use everything and just copy everything the way the previous teacher did, but it's a really nice way to uh, um, give the new teacher a good head start and they can further edit uh, the content for their teaching.